Hi, superstars. It is time for math. And we are on lesson 5-1. Classify objects into categories. Carlos's kindergarten class is having a pet fair. The pets need to be put into two tents. One tent is for pets with four legs. The other tent is for pets that do not have four legs. We are going to draw pictures of five pets. How many animals are in the four leg tent and how many animals are in the not four leg tent? So let's see what we are going to do. So what are they asking us to draw? They are asking us to draw animals with four legs and animals that do not have four legs. So the purple tent is for animals with four legs and the orange tent is for animals that do not have four legs. So I'm going to draw a few animals here. I will draw This is supposed to be a cat. All right, let's just pretend it's a cat. And cats have four legs. So I put it in the purple tent. All right, now I'm going to draw one animal in the orange tent. And these are animals that do not have four legs. So I'm going to draw a fish because a fish doesn't have any legs. So that belongs in the orange tent. All right, now I will draw another animal. What do you think this is? It's a bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbits have four legs. So I put it in the purple tent. And now I'm going to draw an animal in the orange tent. What do you think this is? This is a bird. It's a funny looking bird, but birds do not have four legs. They have two. I'll give it some feathers up here on his head. All right, so how many do we have so far? We have two animals in the four legs tent and two in our not four legged animals. We need one more. So I think I will draw one more animal here. And you can try to figure out what this is. It's supposed to be a dog. I know it doesn't look like a dog, but let's just pretend. Dogs have four legs. So I put it in our four leg tent. All right, so there we have animals with four legs and animals that do not have four legs. We classified them into different categories. All right, let's turn or go to our next page. All right, let's look at this first box here. Look at the animals at the pet fair. Which ones are alike? Well, how about we look at this lizard, this snake, and this frog? They're all green. These could be in a group of animals that are green. Would the other animals at the pet fair be in this group? No, why not? They're not green. Let's look in our next box over here. A group of things that they have in common is hair. So when a group of things have something in common, it's called a category. This category 
is animals with hair. Does every animal in this box have hair? Yes. So do they belong in this category? Yes, they do. Do you think the snake should be in this category as well? No, why not? The snake does not have hair. Let's look over here in this last box. This category is animals with no hair. Does any animal in this box have hair? No, they don't. So do they belong in this category? Yes. Should the dog be in this category as well? No. Why not? Because the dog has hair. So you have classified these animals. And when you classify things, you are putting them in a group or a category because of things that are the same. So let's look at our guided practice here. Number one, draw a circle around the animals that have feathers. A turkey has feathers. Does a bird have feathers? Yes. How about the rooster? Yes, it does. Any other animals with feathers? The chicken. Very nice. Now, mark an X on the animals that do not have feathers. All right, does this snake have feathers? No, or is that a worm? How about the frog? Does a frog have feathers? Nope, so let's put an X. And how about the snake? Nope. No feathers, so we put an X on it. Let's go to our next page. All right, let's look at number two here. What can most animals with wings do? They can fly, that is correct. I want you to draw a circle around the animals that have wings. So which animals have wings here? The eagle, this blue bird, and this bird right here. They all have wings. Now I want you to mark an X on the animals that do not have wings. So do you think a horse has wings? No, put an X. And how about the squirrel? No, squirrels don't have wings either. Okay, let's go to number three. Draw a circle around the rabbits that are white. So let's look for the white rabbits. There's one and there's another. And then mark an X on the rabbits that are not white. So put an X on all the rabbits that are not white. Good job. All right, let's look at number four here. Draw a circle around the cows that are brown. So look for the brown cows. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Now you're going to mark an X on the cows that are not brown. These cows are not brown. So we put an X on them. All right, number five. Draw a circle around the dogs that have spots. This Dalmatian has spots. 
This looks like a beagle. And this dog has spots. How about this one right here? Okay. You're going to mark an X on the dogs that do not have spots. So I don't see spots here or here or on this poodle or on this dog. Good job, superstars. Let's go to our next page. Okay, superstars, this is our independent practice page. I want you to do this on your own. The directions are down here. I know you can do it. Take your time, listen to the instructions. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.